This video is about using Tidier to split columns into separate pieces of information when that column contains more than one uh, piece of information. And we're starting off where we left off last time uh, with our data that's now been cleaned to have a plot ID, a species code, a tree ID, a stem ID, and then uh, a girth. And we haven't paid a lot of attention to the species code column yet, but the way that the species is encoded here is that it's the first four characters of the genus followed by the first four characters of the species. And so we have genus and species information together in a single column. And sometimes that's useful, but we might want to do an analysis at the level of the genus in this case. And so if we wanted to do that, we need to split this information from species code into two separate columns. And we could do that using extract if we wanted to and multiple groups, uh, but we're going to use the separate function in this case because we just need to split the column in two in a consistent way. And so the separate function again starts with a data frame, which we're already piping in, and then it takes three additional arguments. First, the column name that we want to separate, and so that's SP code in our case. It then takes the names of the columns that we want to put the two halves of this column into, and that goes as a vector because we've got multiple columns and we'll call them genus and species. And then it takes information on what position or alternatively what separator to use to split the columns uh, into pieces. And in our case, we don't have a separator value. What we know is that it's the first four characters and the last four characters. And so we wanna split this after the fourth character and so we use the number four here to split on position. And if we do that, we can see that we now have separate genus and species columns to go along with our tree ID, stem, and girth information. And so that's how we split columns if we can split it either on a consistent position or using a consistent separator value. We use the separate function, the column that we want to separate, the columns that we want to store the resulted, res resulting information in, and either the delimiter or the position to split that data.